Hey friends, welcome back to Creators of the Lost Ark. Welcome back to my shop. My name is Ron, and today I've got a project that I've been looking forward to for a little while. The earlier in the year, uh, I built a very large table for my friends Nathan and Jill over at Whispering Willow Farm. And Nathan approached me recently and said, hey, this table is great. We love to entertain guests and, and host, uh, but we'd like a very large serving or charcuterie board uh, made of an opposing color so that it stands out from the table. And I found this beautiful live edge on both sides piece of maple uh, at a hardwood dealer. So I picked it up. I said, this is going to be perfect for that. So I've never made one of these before. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about the challenge. It's going to be three foot long. It's going to have some very unique handles that uh, are going to make it tie into the rest of their dining area. Um, so follow along. Got lots of work to do. Okay, to start with, I'm going to cut off a few inches off this end. Uh, it has some cracks in here that I don't want to have to deal with, but more importantly, on the bottom, I want to have a little bit more of this flat area from the, the factory milling. It is eight quarter or two inches thick. Uh, the finished one will probably be roughly an inch and three quarters, inch and a half thick. Once I cut this off, I'm going to measure down three feet, cut that off. It'll have squared ends and live edge on both sides. Then I'll have to build a jig to kind of flatten it out before we move on from there. All right, so next up, see this side has most of the bark already removed. Got to do the same thing with this side. I'll use a chisel uh, to chisel off as carefully as I can, and then I'll come back with a wire brush and, and clean some of the fibers and things off to get it nice and clean. But it's going to be a beautiful piece. I got to build a flattening sled uh, to use a router and a flattening bit to take the cupping and bowing out of that that uh, screw board. Got this piece of half inch plywood I'm going to rip down on the table saw. Got some scrap three quarter that's tall enough that I could uh, use for the rails on the side to keep it nice and flat and give a place for the jig to run on. Make more sense as I build it so just follow. All right, got the little jig built. I got to finish the sled for the top, but you can see, pushed on each side, you can see that it's not flat. It's got a, a bit of a, a cup going this way. So I'm going to put some wedges under the corner, get it kind of even, put some wedges, fasten it down either with some hot glue or uh, I may be able to put a block and a screw. I don't really want to screw into my tabletop, but put some wedges under here get it to where it doesn't move and then I'll flatten this side then I'll be able to flip it over secure it and then flatten the top side of it Okay, so I got this side nice and flat with the, the router bit. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I went ahead and sanded it just because it's a lot easier while it's secured down to the, to the jig. Now we're gonna flip it over. The super glue on the ends uh, to hold it flat or to hold it, keep it from moving worked really well. It's the first time I've done that. Saw that, that tip on some other woodwork on YouTube. And uh, I'll be using that in the future because that worked really well. The bit that I'm using is a, uh, I think it's a two inch, flattening bit so it just creates a flat surface but with that it does kind of create some little lines in the wood and that's the reason why I went ahead and sanded it to get all those lines uh, knocked down so now I'm gonna super glue it back down it is very flat now on the other side which means I don't have to use any wedges 
secure it so it doesn't move, flatten this side, sand it, and then we can put the handles on it. Okay, flattening is done, rough sanding is done, it's turning out great, and now it's time to add the handle. And I'm using a half inch um, steel pipe. You can find this in the plumbing section at any big box store. But this will match what they already have in their, their kitchen and their dining room, and, I, and it'll, I think it'll look pretty great. I have to drill holes in order to put the half inch pipe through and then countersink from the bottom for this half inch cap because it's a little bit larger than the pipe. But that will allow it to have a, a, a stop so that the handle doesn't pull all the way through. And if I countersink it, then the screwdriver board will be able to sit flat on the table with some little rubber bumpers on the bottom of it. And it'll leave about a half inch of material, which is plenty thick for, um, for the strength that we're looking for. So I'm gonna lay these out, drill some pilot holes so that I know where to, to drill with my Forstner bits on each side and uh, get that done. All right, last thing to do before I put finish on it is to hand sand, hand sand the live edges just because my hand has a little better feel than the, the flat surface of that sander and it'll contour to those edges a little better. Uh, hand sand that with 220. I'll sand the bottom with 220 and then flip it over, sand the top with 220 grit, maybe even 320. And then I might round over or break the edges on the top just to kind of keep that sharpness down a little bit. And we get to put finish on it and install the handles. I'll sand it up, looks good. Got most of the dust removed. I'm gonna be using a Watco Butcher Block uh, oil and finish for this. Put a coat on the top and the sides tonight. Come back tomorrow, flip it over, put a coat on the top and then see if it needs another couple coats on here. Then I'll install the, hard, install the handles and uh, we'll be all done with this project. Add the handles, gonna tighten the caps down into these into these recesses. Recesses, it's not candy, recesses, not recess. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add these uh, little rubber anti-skid pads and they have a metal washer on them. And I, when I tighten it down, I'm gonna use the metal washer to compress the cap down into the hole. So it can be removed later if they wanted to repaint it or, or do something different with the handles. Just give some more options other than epoxying it in there. So I'm going to drill some holes, get those put in, and this project will be done. All right, here it is. So it's got a little gray in it. I think that's some spalting. Maybe they're starting to happen, some discoloration, but that's all natural. Great flat. Really pretty grain on it. Got the live edge on both sides. So can't wait to deliver it to my friends and uh, see what kind of delicious goodness they put on it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so got my little my little uh, sled here on my jig 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 jig